Hello everyone, this is Rizwan Yusuf. The quick demo of this video tutorial. What we are going to do in this video tutorial, we are going to perform CRUD operations using ASP.NET Core MVC with Entity Framework. Okay, we will use SQL Server as database. We will create a small pet info management web applications and we will see the most common problems and issues that you might have faced while performing the CRUD operations in ASP.NET Core. Okay, there are a lot of things that are related to this video tutorial. How to save image in ASP.NET Core, how to apply filter on data, records list, etc. etc. It will not waste your time. Okay, please watch till the end of the video. So here is my Visual Studio. Let's create a new project. From here, we will search ASP.NET Core. So this is the template that what we are looking for ASP.NET Core App Model View Controller okay I will select this template and hit the next button I will name it pet info management app okay you can name it whatever you like pet info management app I think this will be more suitable web app yes you can see we have the brand new application of ASP.NET Core. Before going further, I would like to give you a brief introduction about the structure of ASP.NET applications. ASP.NET Core application. Okay. First, we have WW root folder, it contains CSS and JavaScript files. And if we talk about library folder, it contains Bootstrap and jQuery and other related libraries. Okay. Next, we have model view controller. We will be discussing model view controller throughout the application. Okay. Next, we have app settings file. It contains the configurations settings like database connection keys of jwt json web token etc etc finally we have startup.cs which is the starting point of this application okay here we have some invocation in startup.cs class like routing authorization and default routing Let's have a, some discussion about default routing. The first part of the URL after the base URL will be the controller name, which is home. And next will be the action name and any query parameter after the action method will be considered as the ID parameter as you can see. Okay. So this is the default routing. We will discuss it in detail in the later part of the video. Okay. So this is the first MVC application looks like. As I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial, we are going to perform CRUD operations using ASP.NET Core MVC application. And we will be using Entity framework. So 
वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क इन अवर एप्लीकेशन इन ऑर्डर टू यूज एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल सम न्यू गेट पैकेजेस फर्स्ट विदाउट डूइंग दैट वी कांट यूज एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क इन अवर एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स इंस्टॉल दो पैकेजेस न्यू गेट पैकेजेस रिलेटेड टू एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क ओके so we have successfully installed the required packages for application for our application you can see okay so this is the right time to create a model class for our entity i will call it pet Let's add the corresponding properties. Let's add the corresponding name spaces. now our pet model class is ready okay then we run migrations our database table will be created on behalf of this model we will see the migration in the later part of the video okay